In this page, I've got what looks like an ordinary drop-down menu. If I select Personal Recommendation, that's the value which is displayed. But if I select Magazine Advert, it pops up a text input field and asks me which magazine. But if I select, say, Internet Search, that field disappears. If I select Other, another field comes up asking me to specify the details. So this is a very user-friendly way of getting extra information from visitors to your website if they select certain options. Of course, all of this is dependent on JavaScript. So what happens if I disable JavaScript and refresh the page? Both extra fields are displayed and, in fact, the labels are more specific. So let's see how I created this page in Dreamweaver using jQuery. The Select menu has an ID of How Here. The Magazine field uses the ID Magazine and the Other field uses the ID Other. I've already created some of the code that I need. I've stored a reference to Magazine in Mag, a reference to Other in Other, and used a group selector for Magazine and Other to get a reference to both of them. Then I've used the jQuery ATTR method to disable both fields and then the following line uses the jQuery parent method that gets the parent element of the object which has been selected. So in this case it gets the parent element of both the other input field and of the magazine input field. The P in there says look for the paragraph parent element and then the hide method hides them. You need to disable the fields before hiding them because otherwise those fields will be included in the data submitted by the form and you don't want that to happen if a different option has been selected in the drop-down menu. And here I've bound a change event handler to the how here element, in other words the drop-down menu. And in the anonymous function I now need to create the code which will control the display and hiding of these different input fields. The first thing I need in there is a variable to hold the value that's been selected in the menu. And I use the and I use the this keyword wrapped in a jQuery object and apply the val method which will give me the value and Dreamweaver is telling me that I've made a syntax error. I've forgotten to put in the assignment operator. Each time that the drop-down menu is changed, you need to ensure that the two input fields are disabled and hidden. So you need to copy these two lines and paste them inside the change event handler. This is necessary in case users change their mind. You don't want either field to still be displayed if a different option is selected. So we now need to control what happens if either the magazine or other is selected. And the value for magazine is mag, and the value for other is other, in both of them in lower case. We've stored the value in val. So if val equality operator mag that's what we will do when it's magazine. Else if val equality other. And that's what will happen there. So the first thing we need to do is to remove the disabled attribute. And then we need to change the text in the label. And the way I'm going to do that is mag and then prev. Prev method takes a selector which will be label. So what the prev method does is it gets all immediately preceding siblings of the current selected element. And if you pass a selector to it, it looks only for that type of sibling. So I'm looking for the label which precedes that input field. And I then use the text method to insert the value that I want to go in there. So I'm going to make it which magazine and that changes the label from if you chose magazine which one to simply which magazine. Have a semicolon there. And then we need to show the parent paragraph. So it will show the label 
and the text input field. So it's mag parent p and show. So this section of code re-enables the text input field, changes its label to the shorter version, which magazine, and then shows the parent paragraph so that both the label and the text input field are displayed in the page. So I need to do the same for the other field. I'm just going to quickly paste all that in there. And it does exactly the same as here, except that it's referencing the other variable and the text is slightly different for the label. So let's just save that and activate Live View. Personal recommendation, it works the normal way. Magazine advert shows which magazine. Existing customer, the magazine field disappears. Other, please specify. So it's all working beautifully, just as planned.